through an angry evening to you, the glory of a true purple throat being run over in your world. I nearly forgot what I was saying then, but we're okay. Welcome to another video today, and let me introduce you to the second petal orange you're introducing today, the fur coat. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay, so yet another awesome, awesome looking pedal by Orange here. So what is the fur coat, ladies and gentlemen? It is a fuzz octave pedal. And the really cool thing is you can either have just the fuzz, or you can have the octave as well, and you can kind of like have the octave on before you hit the fuzz, or vice versa. It's really, really cool. The re one thing I really love about this pedal, being a fuzz octave, is you get to control the volume of the octave. Some octave fuzz pedals can be just like it's either like full octave where it's dead nasty and gnarly or it's off and you can't hear it at all this one's really cool and it reacts to your guitar volume control really well it's and it's super cool i'll show you it in a bit so uh so that's your octave kind of volume you got your fuzz here which should always be on 10 because that's the only way to ever run a fuzz pedal i will show you it on the lower settings but the fun lies with it dialed all the way up uh, you got your EQ here, which I'll show you in a bit. It's kind of like really, there's a hell of a sweep on the uh, dial. It's, it's insane. And the volume. I'm going to run the volume there for the whole video. It's like 10 at 11 o'clock. It's, it's kind of unity to the CR120's clean channel. Um, the fur coat is based on the Fox Tone Machine. It's kind of inspired by that. It's like an old school kind of fuzz kind of sound and it's really really just huge it's uh, well as you heard at the beginning it's just absolutely humongous that was a uh, play used uh, using uh, my uh, my cousin's Hofner because it just seemed to fit so well to this sound anyway without further ado let's get playing more with the fur coat okay let's get to some sounds from the fur coat not this one though that one so uh, I'm using my Oswald strap today Orange CR120, I'm going to show you through the clean channel first, show you all the features. It works really nicely into like a clean channel, so that's really cool. And then I'm going to show you through the dirty channel of the CR120 with a slightly kind of broken up, kind of cleanish kind of sound. So, further ado, this is just the orange on its own. <laughs> Own. Uh, at this point in time, I've got fuzz all the way up. Say so volume is going to stay about 10, half 10. Uh, I've got the EQ about 1 o'clock. Uh, as you saw, I haven't changed it since uh, the close up. This sounds immense. <laughs> clean up on the volume. in the fuzz now so that's fuzz on all the way uh, i hope you like my tire anyway uh this is fuzz on three quarters <laughs> Really? 
on Jimi Hendrix binge today just because it's full spell. Uh, falls down to a half now. It's almost kind of building it with the. to a quarter now so very very low fuzz kind of almost it has and it, it it needs to be rolled full whack it needs four That's a new word, that's the word of the day, fuzzerocious. This is awesome, absolutely awesome. I'm gonna leave a fuzz on all, all the way though, it needs to be on 10. I just love fuzz pedals on 10. There is no other setting as far as I'm concerned, at least for me anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the EQ dial now and I'm gonna move on to the octave. Okie dokie doodles. Uh, EQ, yes, where are we? Yeah. So uh, at this point in time, we're going about one o'clock. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lower it all the way to the left. So this is all the way off now. So uh, it sounds like this, it's really kind of dark, fat sound. <laughs> Which I always feel that's a sound that would like, if you're recording like a massive fuzz riff, like if you recorded that and then a higher kind of like a, a, a brighter fuzz that would sit really well in the mix as like just a massive fat in there kind of sound really really cool uh, so moving the EQ up now to uh, 9 o'clock a bit brighter <laughs> This is halfway, so this is near where I kind of I like it. I like it at like one o'clock. So this is halfway now. <laughs> really cool. It starts to come into its kind of like um, its own really once you get to twelve o'clock. Three quarters now. It's a bit brighter. It's kind of almost grunge kind of sound, really.
think Kurt would have liked that sound. Okay, um, this is uh, EQ all the way up now, so super kind of bright. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's very controllable out of volume on your guitar how it cleans up. So awesome, awesome, awesome EQ. I really like it around one o'clock. can't go wrong with that. Ah, oh, and it's slightly out of control with the fuzz all the way up, which is just perfect. I just love that out of controlness of the fuzz. Okay, so I'm going to show you the octave now. And the really cool thing is, I didn't mention at the beginning, when you click the octave in, the LED changes colour, goes to purple, which is really, really cool. So let me show you the octave and I'll show you how it kind of reacts to the way your volume uh, works when you kind of like lower the volume. You kind of control the octave by your volume. It's very, very cool. So uh, yeah, let's let's do that, shall we? Okay, okay, so let's go to the octave effect. We are engaged by the purple LED. At this point in time, I've got the octave all the way down. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of like how Steve Ray Vaughan used to run his fuzz octave. Uh, at the Austin City Limits gig, you kind of uh, hear him using it in tightrope, where, um, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> It's kind of there, but you don't hear about much, but it's got that kind of sound. Where it's kind of interfering with notes and everything's kind of clashing and being really cool. Uh, so that's all the way off, and I say you can kind of clean up the guitar. And it's, you know, it's not really there all the way down. So moving over now to a quarter, and it should start to come in even more. dial in as much as you want of it instead of it just being kind of like a preset kind of thing where it's either all or nothing you can kind of get that nice kind of um happy medium where you kind of like it because i really like when it's low because you get this weird full sound in relation to it being off this is this is the, the octave off and this is the octave in it gives you a really 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 cool sound about higher octaves just kind of brightening up a little bit so now moving the octave to halfway so it's going to get more 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 intense <laughs> that's a really cool bit you can get rid of it by just roll, rolling the volume down it just goes away so if i put my guitar to like a yeah you get this really nice kind of eric clapton-y kind of uh way up I get the octave. I really love the way it responds to the volume, really really cool. So that's halfway, three quarters now, even more. And I love what octave pedals are sung for, for um, double stops. Like I said, this gives you that purple haze thing. It's really good. I love 
over and you can dial in as much as you want of it. It's really cool. Whew, I'm getting warm in this outfit, I'll tell you that. Right, okay, so um, that's the octave, that's the EQ, that's the fuzz. It's just really, really cool. And it's nice to have them to, in both, in like in one kind of nice little kind of package, so to say, which is really, really cool. But I do love that fuzz. <laughs> like a built-in noise gate um, you kind of hear it if I play a chord and it just stop dead it takes a while for the amplifier hits to come back which is really cool because you can get those kind of Jack White kind of stuttery kind of tone time where just, just get your volume off which is really cool because I, I love fuzz pedals on the extreme setting I don't, I, i've never really kind of been one to kind of like shy away from immense fuzz i love it so uh, i'm going to switch guitar now now my my oswald strap's covered in fur uh but hey it's the fur coat uh i'm going to switch to my 11 drop here with humbuckers and uh show you some uh, eq settings in the octave i'm going to leave the octave all the way up for the humbuckers and I'm going to leave fuzz all the way up. I'm just going to kind of sweep the... Um... Actually, no, I'll show you the fuzz as well, actually, on, on different settings. And I'm going to sweep, obviously, the EQ. So let's change guitar! Okay, over this... Oh, the, the, what? Okay, okay, I've switched over to the Lemon Drop now. Uh, this is the bypass signal through the c 120 Clean Channel. Just so you know, the EQ on the e e Clean Channel hasn't changed. It's treble off, bass on two and volume all the way up. Uh, gives me this sound. <laughs> Just, you know, nice, kind of like, almost kind of broken up clean. Anyway, adding the fuzz. You can really hear that noise gate on humbuckers. It seems to be kind of a more, more kind of um, powerful sound. Sort of Great on a neck humbucker. Oh, I'm gonna roll the tone off. That's a that's evil. That is absolutely evil. That was summon the devil, that noise. Anyway, uh, so uh, I'm going to show you the fuzz now. I'm going to knock it down to a quarter. So this is a uh, fuzz on a quarter. So the lowest setting. Really cool. Really, really cool. Fuzz now on a half. carried away. Uh, fuzz on three quarters. And fuzz all the way up, which is where it should be. So let's go to the EQ sweep now. Let me show you the EQ. Oh, about to ditch my disguise. Too warm, way too warm, especially under hot light. Huh? Probably look a mess now, but hey, what's new? Anyway, EQ. Uh, so rolling the EQ all the way down, fuzz is all the way up, volume hasn't moved from 10 o'clock. Um, so this is EQ all the way down with humbuckers. Yeah, 
quite sure where I was going with that one, but you get it. I always feel, like I say earlier on, it does, it feels like a kind of um, a nice kind of in the background noise that way. It's just like just a fattener kind of thing. So EQ at a quarter now. <laughs> Today. It's an E day. Okay, so uh, EQ now at half, getting brighter. Really cool. EQ at three quarters now. time. Uh, volume is all the way up in the octave. Does sound mean on the uh, on the neck humbucker. I didn't realise the neck humbucker had moved there then. gig by Jimi Hendrix he's got his uh, fuzz octave on and he sounds like that <laughs> it, does, it must have been insane in 1970 to hear those kind of sounds coming from a guitar so that's the octave I love the fact the the LED turns purple when you and you stick that in it's like curiosity EQ all the way up and the fuzz down at about a quarter <laughs> page setting almost that with the EQ all the way up and the fuzz almost all the way down so that's awesome isn't it so that's really cool I love this pedal it's such a good fuzz pedal I like the fact you can dial in the octave it's super cool so I'm going to switch back to the Oswald now I'm going to show you through the Soul 20's dirty channel and show you how it kind of uh, responds to a kind of like an, um, uh, an already kind of broken up sound okie dokie so uh, this is one of the very very few fuzz pedals I've tried where I actually like it loads through the clean channels well most of the time i like to run uh, fuzzes through overdrive channels with distortion already on them i'm not a big fan of running fuzzes on a clean signal but this one breaks that rule i've only had it like um 
a couple of times before, but this one sounds immense for a clean chat. It's really cool. But I uh, switched over to the dirty channel of the CL120 now. I've got this kind of broken up. Kind of sound. There's a, you know, it's quite a lot of distortion on there. Adding this sends it into heaven. It's just so much lovely, warm, fat sustain, especially when they go to the neck pickup. So, uh, so you know, I've got the EQ where it's, it's at one o'clock. I'm not really going to touch the EQ, but I've got the fuzz down. Obviously, I've already got distortion. I've turned the fuzz down. I was to get massive amp hiss. Um, I've got the fuzz down at about 10 o'clock. It's kind of unity with the uh, volume, actually. And it just sounds immense on that. So, uh, just so this is again, this is the uh, straight C120. Add in the fuzz, the fur coat by the lovely Orange Company. bad sounds in them, they're, they're all really kind of cool and usable. I'm going to have a fuzz on full whack for a second.
lost there. I bet you couldn't tell. Okay, so there's literally nothing more to say than this is an awesome, another awesome pedal by Orange. I can't thank Orange enough for, you know, let me bring these two pedals to you today on the day they're going to launch them. That is, thank you so much, Orange. That really does, is, is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. And I really hope you enjoyed these two videos on the getaway driver, which I need in my life, and the fur coat, which I definitely need in my life as well. They run together so well, and hopefully I'll get a video done of them both together um, before, uh, you know, before they go back. But they're so cool. They're so cool. So, yeah, thank you, Orange. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. Goodbye now. I'm going to have more fun with this.